Hi guys, this is uh, Mojos again, and today I'll be giving you the review for the uh, <coughs> Avmatorin, uh, not Solek, Photok. So uh, the case is just the same as the uh, every Avmatorin uh, this year, the Bionicle logo and Photok is written underneath. You see him uh, walking towards the person viewing the package, he's not really menacing. See the age limit 616, set number 8946, and he has 14 pieces. On the side, there's this cool barnacle logo hidden underneath this uh, plastic thing. Um, so you see all like half the cases warnings. You see how to put uh, Pohatu and Photok together to make uh, him ride Pohatu. See barnacle logo, and the bio code is OPO612. And there's an ad for Bionicle.com. So, uh, I'm going to cut open the package now. Show the pieces that are inside. Okay, so, first thing that fell out was um, this leg. Same as uh, the uh, Gavla's arms and legs, and same as Tanma's arms. Uh, his arms are the same as Kirops, except for they're orange. He's got uh, cool Kanohi here. Uh, new handpiece. Uh, the new orange Toa feet. Uh, the new jetpack. Uh, these cool things. I'm not sure what they're called. I believe this is the first time they've been released in this color. Unless, no, same color as that was with Garan from 2006. A uh, new head, which just has a little socket joint on the end there. And the new body piece. Now, uh, I like the other body piece better, but uh, this one is definitely cool. So, now I'll move on to the building. So, <clears throat> this is the actual review part of uh, my review, as you would say. Um, although it may look dark, it's actually really bright outside. Something wrong with my lights. So, this may look pretty dark, but <clears throat> it's really light outside. So, I guess I'll have to start doing reviews in the morning. Um, this is just the uh, comparison in height to Pohatu of yesteryear. Um, he's just about, I'd say, armpit level because I got him slightly slouched over here, uh, which is pretty good for size. But uh, the new Matoran only have 14 pieces, which, as you've just seen, is only about a minute of building. It's uh, really a bit of a disappointment, but. What can you say? The new uh, generation of Bionicle fans want the figure, not the building experience. So, um, overall, he's I like the mask. Very cool. He looks like a miniature version of Pohatu Nuva of uh, 2008, Fantoka. But uh, his mask does look very similar to the Pakari, I believe. That's what it's called. Um, fairly uh, decently sized, but like I said, building experience is nothing, nothing to mention. Um, every piece in uh, um, Photok 
is new except for these uh, chronicler staves. Even the hands are new because they've uh, got reinforced joints and make it look like the older double joints. But uh, <coughs> overall, very good size. But uh, again, this is the third time I mentioned it. No building experience. So now I'm just going to plug them into Pohatu Nuva. This is Pohatu Nuva, of course, from 2008. So what we do is we uh, get Pohatu ready to fly. And we plug Photok into these two little holes on his back. Photok has, er, two little pegs on Pohatu's back, two little holes on Photok's stomach. So, uh, connects fairly decent. I think what they were trying to do is make him short just like Pohatu with Photok. Overall, though, I think it would have been better to make his legs orange and his arms gray or vice versa. Or wait, they already did vice versa. So, um, fairly cool for uh, this year's playing ability, but it just, I don't really keep them like that. I think the Matoran look pretty cool by themselves, but uh, that's how Photog and Pohatu look together. Um, the only problem, like, it looks good on the new on the Toa Nuva, but on the Makuta it just looks retarded, because he has to the Matoran have to plug into the Makuta's butt and uh, just doesn't look that good. So, it actually looks like they're uh, doing something, but uh, this is fairly cool, I think, but lots of people don't seem to like it. So, I think that might be the end of my review of Photok. Anyways.